everybody and welcome to another episode of Supreme Decisions and today I want to talk to you about something because I always talk about removing cases to federal court and a couple weeks back we also spoke about when the police do not answer your Freedom of Information Act request and again that ended up with me saying hey file a lawsuit in federal court because it's something that they're required to do. And today I'm gonna to talk about the federal rules of civil procedure and federal court subpoenas. Now, the biggest thing about that is understanding rule 47. Now, the one thing that I hear more often than not is that people are saying, oh, well, they're not answering this, they're not answering that. And the first rule of the federal court subpoena is that you have to state what the court is issued from or basically where is it coming from two you have to state the title of the action and the civil court case number the reason that is is because they got to know where it's coming from they have to be able to look it up to make sure it is a valid subpoena. and in the subpoena you command each person and yes i use the word command that's the same thing as if you are filing a motion to bring forth. A command is just offering an instruction. And this command is done to each person that you are looking for something from or that's a part of the lawsuit. But again, you have to do this with specificity. Meaning, if you're doing it for a hearing, it's a time and place if you're doing it again for testimony you have to let them know time and place dates all that stuff what documents you are requesting and from whom any electronically stored information or tangible things such as personal effects and this is one I see more often than not because you have a lot of police officers that come out and they'll use their personal phones whenever they're taking pictures of someone or they're most the time it's auditors that I see this when they're taking the pictures of the audio auditors that becomes part of evidence that can be requested through freedom of information and the great part about that is it can then be used against them and finally you can actually use a subpoena to do inspections of a premises which is also inspections of documents because you can actually either request photocopies or certified copies or you can actually go and request that you're able to come down and either take video or pictures of areas that you are having in question for that particular case but it has to be specific and it also has to be specified because a lot of times I'm looking at these requests that are being made and the majority of them are not specific they're asking for generalizations so remember asking with federal subpoenas using your subpoena power when they're not turning over discovery you can use it for things such as when you're talking about the electric electronically stored information would be the video from the police cars, the video from the body cameras, the video that's being stored on their personal servers. Also, videos that are stored on their personal cameras that has to do with your case. And again, it's just the exact same as if they are doing a warrant. It has to be specific. Because even like when I talked about warrants, just as the warrant has to be specific, your subpoena also has to be specific, and it also has to be relevant to your case. It can't be a fishing expedition, and it cannot be vague or general. So keep those things in mind. I'll talk to you guys soon. I appreciate all the donations. A lot of my channels are getting, a lot of my videos now are being copyright striked. So, right now, the production of everything is coming from donations. Apple Pay. Remember, 
leave your name or what name you want me to use when I'm giving you the shout out. Google Wallet. I appreciate everybody that's using Google Wallet. Venmo. Thank you for all those guys. And my favorite, Cash App. Because if you're not using Cash App or you don't have the Cash App, download it in the description. Use my link. Then whenever you send out or use Cash App, we both get paid. So, until next time.